Hello everybody, happy Friday. Here I am again, I feel like we were just live and we were Tuesday. I used to do a Facebook Live on Tuesdays also, but life got crazy. <laughs> I'd like to do that again. I should I should put that on my, my things to do. Come up with a fourth project for Tuesdays. All right, I see you guys jumping on. Um, I feel like the lights are weird and I think I know why. Let's see, should I mess with it? I don't want to mess anything up. My husband helped me change out something on my paper cutter. Let's see if it comes on. Oh, there it is. There it is. That is better. <laughs> my husband helped me. Um, I have this giant paper cutter that is more problems than it's worth. Let me just tell you that right now. But because of the amount of money it costs, I am bound and determined to make it work. Um, but anyway, he was in here working on it and um, he unplugged some of my lights. I forgot to plug them back in. It's good to see you guys. I hope you've had a good week. Um, I usually say August is my least favorite month, but I started thinking about that this week. And actually, maybe it's one of my favorite months because it means school's getting ready to start. Two weeks. We have two weeks of school left. Um, and so things are ramping up. My oldest leaves for college week after next which is crazy. Um, my youngest will have orchestra camp all next week. And then my middle daughter made the high school tennis team um, and has been practicing with them this week. So things are starting to, to roll and I might be able to have some complete thoughts again once they all go back to school. <laughs> you mamas know what I'm talking about. All right, let's see if I can find you guys. Make sure I'm in the right place. Okay, good. So many things, so many things. Um, where should I start? You know what, while we wait for people to join, I'm gonna show you the cards that I got. Um, I showed you guys the earrings last week that I got. I didn't put any earrings in today, but I got some beautiful earrings. I showed you on Tuesday. Um, and they came with a beautiful card from Christine. I just have to show it one more time, Christine. Again, I don't know if you saw my, my Facebook Live on Tuesday. Thank you so much for the thoughtful gift cute card. I love, I have my, um, well, what is this bloom where you're planted? I suddenly couldn't remember. I have all those cards that we did for, um, club create over here on a display. And every time somebody walks in they they always are attracted to those cards. This set is so popular. I love it. It's going to be a, a, I think it's gonna be a solid seller all year. Maybe it'll carry over. Paper never does, but who knows? Okay, um, this beautiful card is from Joanne. She sent me a thank you. I got a lot of thank you notes um, because I sent my, do I have it here? I sent my Club Create um, people a gift <laughs> with their Club Create kits last month as a thank you because it had been one year since we started Club Create. And it was a post-it tape holder with my Pink Buckaroo logo on it. So I got lots of thank you notes. Um, but she sent this and said thank you and then she used the things, her products from Club Create and created this beautiful card. I love how, you know, like you don't have to use the whole die. You can just cut it off and it still is the same effect. That was really smart design. I love it, so thank you. This one's beautiful from Luann. Also using the bloom where you're planted. Look at that, it's a fun fold. And I like it with the black. Really, really smart. I like it. Um, now, this one is really cool from Jen. Um, she said <laughs> that she was playing around and sent me this card. She was checking on it because she has mail problems with her mail person. Jen, I think we all do, unfortunately. Um, well, there's a story there, but I want to tell you, my mail person is wonderful. The people that work at her mail office are not wonderful. Anyway, she sent me this cute little card. Look, she made her own apron, but look on the inside. Cute, right? So cute. Very clever. It looks like she had a, a card base and she just cut a boop and a boop and then she has an apron. We used to have a die that looked like that, but she made her own. Very smart. Um, let's see, this one is from Jill. Jill sent me something and um, sent this card. I still love that paper. Oh, so good. Thank you, Jill, for a beautiful card. Um, Donna sent me this. Look, my favorite colors, pink and black with that butterfly and watch how it opens. It's like a puzzle, Whoop. isn't that pretty? I should do one of those, I have never done one of those. I like that. And then last but not least, we have a card from Brenda, a thank you card also with that sweet peach. 
I don't think I'll ever get tired of the peach either. Very cute. So thank you, ladies. Um, I got most of those while I was gone and uh, a couple, maybe one or two this week. Um, it's always nice to get happy mail, isn't it? Okay, so what do I want to do? I think I'll just turn you guys around. No, you know what I'm going to do before I turn you around? Um, the All-Star Tutorial Bundle. This is month two of the six month. We do it in six month chunks, right? Um, this one goes July to December and then the next one will be January to June. And so you can always subscribe in the first month um, to get the PDFs automatically emailed to you. Um, or you can buy them in our PDF store um, or you get them free with an order, which I haven't sent out this month. If you bought, if you've already put in an order, I'm going to put this and I'm going to do this today. I promise I haven't, I haven't sent them out yet. But anyway, this month is hand pinned. And I told you last time that the subscription window closed the first month, right? At the end of July. Well, we as a team decided to extend it a week. So you have a couple more days if you wanted to subscribe and get that six month for free. Um, this month, my project is a notepad holder. I did a, a cute card too, which I have over there on our blog hop, which was just yesterday, right? So make sure you go check it out. Um, we all do a second project. So all together, that's like 24 projects with whatever bundle we've picked. So here is the hand pinned all-star tutorial bundle and their um, video tutorials. Um, so you can click on the link when you get the PDF and you'll, we've each made a video. There's 12 of us from all around the world that um, make one tutorial a month. The details of this are, you can click at the bottom of today's blog, pinkfuckery.com, um, or just go back, it's one post back. Details are there for that. Um, oh, I wanted to say something too. If you're a subscriber and you have emailed me that you didn't get your PDF, and then you don't hear back from me, it's not me not responding. Sometimes my emails will not get accepted. I have a handful of people whose email address block me every time, no matter what. And there's somebody who has emailed me yesterday and today asking me for their PDF and I've responded twice and I don't think she's getting it. So if that's you, <laughs> you could always find me on Facebook and message me that way. So I don't always see the Facebook messages, but just know, and then I, I try different things. If it doesn't go through, I'll go over, I have a junk email, a Yahoo, I'll send it from there. I'll send it from our home email. I don't know what it is. I My pinkbuckaroo.com address, email address, is maybe on the naughty list. I don't know. Some email addresses will not let my emails come through. So if that's you, please know I would never, never, ever, ever not respond to an email. Um, and if you think maybe I've missed you or you're not getting, try again, email me again, okay? Because I promise you, I, I answer every email <laughs> unless, and, and then if you don't hear back from me, it's because something is happening out in cyber, cyberspace, okay? I, I hate that. Sometimes I will try, because occasionally there's one that just stubbornly will not go through, even from my other email addresses. So I'll go over and find you guys on Facebook <laughs> and friend you and try to message you there. Um, it's very frustrating. Um, my friend Chad is a tech tech person, he kind of looked into it and said that my um, address, email address is on some kind of weird list because my pinkbuggeroo.com isn't actually a website, it's a blog. And so they think it's a fake website. Yeah, so Shelly says your emails almost always go to my spam folder. Yeah, you guys check your spam folders because I'm even on my own email list and my own emails that I send out like my newsletters, they go to my spam folder it is incredibly frustrating. I wish that I knew enough technology wise to figure all that out and fix it, but I don't. Um, even my email provider has a little like spam, you know, it'll check your email for spam issues and it always tells me my email's totally fine. So I don't know, <laughs> it's frustrating. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip you guys around. Um, I have my act together a little bit better today. I had just come back from the mall with my teenagers and I had been in Hollister and I was like, oh, you know, like brain dead. Um, and I was, I totally butchered showing you guys the free bundles that we, that you can get when you buy the starter kit this month. So I have, I have it in a much more organized fashion this time. And I want to go through them and show you. I actually have all of them now um, because I ordered, there were like three, I think I didn't have. 
And so I ordered them just so I could show you, okay? So the starter kit, it's $99. It can be anything you want, $125 in product. The total cost will be $99, free shipping. There is tax, but there's no shipping. During celebration, which is August and September, you get an extra bundle, okay? And I have a list. Well, of course, now where did it go? Here it is. And I've pulled them all out, okay? And you can click on the, it's the join tab at the top of my blog, and it will show you in detail a little bit more what's offered. And you can read through all the specifics. You get a lot of cool stuff um, when you're a demonstrator. Even if you're just a hobby demonstrator, you still are gonna get a discount. You get free PDFs from me every month. You get um, early access to the next catalog, all that. But during celebration and your starter kit, you also get a free bundle. So here are the bundles that you could choose from. The Frosted Gingerbread Bundle, which is $48.50. The Christmas Season Bundle. And these are those uh, seasonal label dies that I absolutely love. It coordinates with, gosh, that corner outside so loud. I'm looking around to see if there's a dog in here. What in the world, man? It sounds like a jet is taking off outside my window. Um, they coordinate with this, which is a fantastic stamp set, but I also really, really like these label dies, which I have used a ton. Okay, so that's a choice, $54. Um, here's one that I was getting all kinds of mixed up last week. This one is called Christmas to Remember, and I believe this one is the most expensive at $60.25. Um, greetings. And then look at these. So like this you cut out and then you cut this out and you layer it and it's like you know a two-dimensional type layered giant you know card front thing i mean it's beautiful and then there's the what, what's the word i'm looking for you know uh greenery right like a like a swag or something um it's very christmasy and then of course the pine cones i love pine cone guys so there's that one that's the most expensive one and, and you guys nobody is going to get mad if you pick the most expensive bundle to be your free bundle i mean i, I would hope you would <laughs> um whimsical trees it's 51 dollars 25 here are those dies this one looks really fun can't wait to play with this one there's a stamp set um let's see the sweet little stockings with the little dogs and the cats and the guinea pig that one and that one is $47.50 then we've got peaceful cabin which I really like the dies really cool that one is $54 the arctic bears here's the I just got this one today the arctic bears I like this I love these dies really really neat that's really cool. Um, $47.50. And then Beauty of Tomorrow. This is the one that I kept getting mixed up with that other one. Beauty of Tomorrow. Look at that giant. Now, you guys can see why I got it mixed up, right? The dyes are very similar. Um, this is like, these are leaves, I guess. And that's, you know, what do you call it? Fall foliage. Not fall. Um, Christmas greenery. And where? Look, I left some dyes in here. Do you guys ever do that? <gasps> you forget or you don't feel the dyes in there? Yeah, don't do that. Make sure you check your package when you pull them all out. All right, that one's pretty pricey too, $50.25, and that's really pretty. And then we've got Gorgeous Leaves, which I absolutely love, and then Nature's Harvest. Now, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Nature's Harvest. This is that beautiful paper. It coordinates with that beautiful paper that's I call our fall paper, but it's not really fall colors. And I designed an entire class with this this week, and I am madly in love with it. I think I'm changing Club Create um, September for this instead of the penguins because I'm so worried about that penguin paper. So I think we're going to do Nature's Harvest Club Create, and I promise you will not be sorry. Um, this is a gorgeous set, and the paper is gorgeous, and the projects I've designed are gorgeous. So stay tuned for that. All right, and then the other two bundles are the punch bundles, um, the penguin and the deer, which we're going to use today. Okay, I'm not going to spend any more time on that. I just want to make sure you guys could see them all since the last time I totally butchered it. Um, I was confused and still whatever. <laughs> so I had to fix it. Um, that join special goes through the end of September. It's, again, $99. There's a join link at the top of my blog. Um, and actually, I think I linked it at the bottom of today's blog too. And if you have questions, feel free to reach out to me. 
Okay, Paper Pumpkin. Um, we just have a few more days to subscribe to this month's Paper Pumpkin, and it's a really pretty one. Look at the box. Um, Hope Box Paper Pumpkin Kit. I had so many of you email me uh, early this month asking if I had last month's kit, and I did not have any left. I sold them like that. So if you want to make sure that you have this, subscribe. You know, you can subscribe and then cancel. Um, you know what's coming. You can see it. It says it contains enough supplies to create nine cards and coordinating envelopes. Comes with a classic stamp and spot, exclusive stamp set. The box is designed to be a keepsake box. Keep mementos of cherished memories, or reminders of what's yet to come. It's really pretty. And that's our founder, um, Shelly Gardner. So she designed this, bo this box, it looks like. So that's coming. Um, Paper Pumpkin. I will update this video when I'm done with a link directly to Paper Pumpkin. Oh my gosh, I'm so thirsty. Hold on. Okay, tax-free weekend. I did a poor job this year of telling all the all the states when their tax-free weekend is. But this weekend, August 6th through 8th, we've got a lot of tax-free weekends. Missouri, New Mexico, Ohio, South Carolina, Texas, and Virginia. The things, they're not all exactly the same, but they're pretty much adhesive. All the adhesives, um, grid paper, paper snips, pastels, the pastels, um, the chalk marker, the stamp and write markers, the watercolor pencils, journaling pens, blender pens, not stamp and blends, but the blender pens, you know, the ones that have the clear stuff in them. Um, the basic black stamp and write marker, many marvelous markers, um, and the annual catalog, that's weird, <laughs> but that that's only, that, that's gone. So if you are in Missouri, New Mexico, Ohio, South Carolina, Texas, Virginia, I will update this video with a link to the tax-free spreadsheet. And if you would like, it's the back to school tax-free weekend. So anything that can kind of qualify as school supplies um, is tax-free. Um, I usually buy a bunch of adhesive during this weekend to stock up just to save, you know, tax. It's, you know, saves you a little bit. So um, I will post a link to that so you guys can check it out. And you will not catch me dead near a Walmart or a mall this weekend. Boy, it is crazy when it's tax-free weekend. Okay, here, last call for Club Create this month. We are doing Christmas tidings and trimmings. I love this bundle. What is this? Why is this in here? Oh, I know. This was a prize. <laughs> I'm like, where did that come from? Um, I will start working on this next week. Um, tomorrow, the 7th is the last day to subscribe if you want the July, nope, what's today? What's this month? August. Last day to, to subscribe if you want the August kit. Um, you get roughly $20 in product and five make and takes, a video and a PDF, and that includes shipping. It's $39. You can cancel anytime. You can sign up for one month and immediately cancel if you want. I try to give you guys a heads up of what's coming the following month so you can decide if you want to stay. Um, if you stay for six months, you also get a $25 product credit, which is really fun. You get like a present in your kit. Um, you get to pick what you want. Uh, I always send an email every month to those who've been in six months and they get to pick what they want. So um, if you want to join Club Create, again, I will update this video with a link as well as at the top of my blog, there's a tab that says Club Create. Now, again, I Tuesday told you guys I had penciled in what I was going to do for the next few months and I told you it was tentative, right? Well, it's already changed. September's Club Create will not be penguins. We're going to do penguins, I think, for a Facebook Friday instead. Um, I'm really, really <laughs> just worried about a supply issue with that. And I don't want to get stuck where I, you know, have to hold all those kits because we don't have something. So we're going to play it safe and we're going to do that gorgeous, um, what did I call it? Harvest. Now I can't think of what the nature's harvest. Um, and I promise you it's gorgeous. Okay. So this last call for this is the last time you'll see this. Okay. What do we have left? Oh, oh, this right here. Um, celebration, you guys. We're gonna, I'm focusing on celebration today. We're gonna do, again, we're gonna do the deer and the sheep and the, we're gonna do the penguin. Um, the celebration catalog is from now until the end of September. Um, I was telling you that everything is while supplies last and it's not everything, but it's the really good things. It's the dyes, it's the bedazzle paper. And if you've been around, you know, sometimes things do run out before the end of the catalog you know, paper. So make your list, prioritize it. Um, the dyes we're using today most likely will, I think they'll sell out before the end of the, the, the um, sales period. But during celebration, 
Um, if your order is over, wait, I don't want to misquote myself, $300, you also get an additional free stamp set. And this is what it looks like. It's got really great sentiments, um, really good font. So just know that if you're putting in an online order, it says host, but you don't have to host to get this, st this stamp set. You can just buy, <laughs> order, you know, you know who you are. Some of us have big orders. Some of us get together with friends and have big orders. Um, but once your online order hits that $300 mark in your shopping cart, it will prompt you to add that to your cart. So here it is. Just wanted to let you see it. All right. I think we are almost ready. Is the camera swaying, rolling? I have the fan on, you guys. It's so hot. If I need to turn it off, I will, though. All right. How about prizes? Prizes, prizes. We had three prizes from two weeks ago. Luann. Luann, I'm going to butcher your name. So... Luann, you know who you are. Lesnar, Lesnar, Laurie Brown, Andrea DeHart. Andrea, I am sending, I just packed something for you. So I'm going to put that in there for you. Um, Laurie and Luann, please message me or email me your address so that I can get your prizes to you. Thank you so much for sharing um, my video. I really appreciate it. I've got two brand new stamp sets from the holiday catalog this week. Little Delights. Uh, this will be a Facebook Friday, most likely. I can't wait to use it. It's really cute. I love the little bats. So stay tuned. But anyway, if you'd like to be entered to win, just share the video and write in the comments that you shared. And I will put you in the drawing next week. Alrighty. We are ready to start. Um, this week for Facebook Friday, I am doing celebration. Um, I usually pick one stamp set or one bundle and do three projects with that. But because our, um, our celebration products uh, or while supplies last, I wanted to make sure I get it all in so that you see what's available and you make your list accordingly. Um, next week, uh, I don't know what to do next week. What do you guys want me to do next week? I thought I'd do the sheep, spend a whole week on the sheep stamp set and dies. That's kind of what I'm leaning to. How do you guys feel about that? Because we're doing a sheep card today too. It's just so cute. You can go over to my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com. Let's straighten this out. Let's see, it needs to go up that way. Um, you can go to pinkbuckaroo.com right now and this PDF is there. It is free. It has all the measurements and the products listed that you will need. Um, has the host code uh, for this week. So the host code is if you want the make and takes, like let's see, do I have last week's? If you want the make and take sent to you, I will send them to you like this for free with any order over $35 that uses the host code. Now here's the, the only thing that's not included are the stamped images, right? And anything that's stamped um, with what I'm using today. And usually you will only need one stamp set to complete your projects because I only use one typically. But this week, because I'm showcasing three different things, there are three different stamp sets that you'll need to make your projects. You can always substitute. You'll have the paper and the other die cuts, but you will need, you'll need the sheep dies because you need to cut out your sheep. You'll need the penguin. Um, and you'll need the deer. If you don't have all of them, you can always substitute what you have, but I will still send you the make and takes for free with a little thank you tag. No pre-stamped images, I promise. Um, but everything else will be there for you. These are just kind of some from the past. I usually, I, it's, I cut it off Monday at midnight and I cut them first thing Tuesday morning. So make sure your order's in and, uh, and then I mail, mail them to you for free as a thank you. All right, I'm going to tape this down so I don't knock it over. All right, what are you guys saying? Love the fence die. Yes, Terry, that's my favorite part of the sheep too is the fence. It's so cute. And, you know, I was looking, we have the hay birthday chick dies also, which would really coordinate well with that farm stuff. Um, so if you guys get the sheep and you have the hay birthday chick, you need to put those dies together. They, I think they'll coordinate really well. Um, you guys are into having the sheep next week, you think? Would you like to see the sheep? I have one project already. No, no, my Michelle says no more sheep, more penguins. Penguins are coming, Michelle. I promise. I actually have designed a ton of sheep stuff, but I can't quite show you yet because I'm reserving some of it for team training and it's got to be a surprise. My team gets early access, of course. All right, let's get started. Hold on just one second. We are going to start with that cute little sheep. If I can find it in my big pile over here. I'm going to 
pull it over. Is this the right? My cards are all over the place. Okay. I'm reading your comments. Love the sheep. Yes to the sheep. Sheep, 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 sheep. See? <laughs> I think everybody's going to love that cheap. Here they are right here. Oh, they're, they're a mess. I've really actually kind of been obsessing about this set. Um, I went to Walmart today and there's not a lot of sheep products <laughs> out there. You know, I always try to find a, a candy or a sweet or a, you know, maybe like a, a lotion or something. And there's not a lot of sheep. There's goat milk and goat milk you know, like soap and stuff, but I really can't find anything with sheep, but I'm working on it. I have a couple of ideas. Um, and then I was also looking in the baby section because this would make a great card to have for baby cards as well. All right, let me get all of it over here so you can see what we are making. Here's my card. Now, you'll notice the paper, right? It's the penguin paper. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen it. Where did I just set it down? It's huge. How am I missing it? It's probably under the tray. Yeah, here it is. I want you guys to see that the penguin paper, yes, it's penguins, right? All on one side, we've got all these penguins and polar bears and foxes, and they're adorable. But in, say, April or May, you probably don't want penguins. Well, you might, but maybe you don't. The other side of this paper can be used for other things. I really like this stripe. Um, and then this is what we're gonna use. We're gonna use this stripe with this polka dot right here. Oh no, wait, what are we using? I forgot. No, no, we're using the green and the polka dot. And then on the next card, we're using the stripe and the purple. So if you think that the penguins are too cutesy maybe for you, um, I would recommend looking at the other patterns on here. Uh, these are good, I think, for baby cards or masculine cards. These, this one right here is good for masculine. Masculine, these three right here would be really good. So anyway, just sometimes, I don't know if you guys are like me, but if I see something in the catalog, then I can't, that's all I can think. You know, like I can't think outside of how it's used in the catalog. So um, I try, especially with the papers, to really get more use out of it and think, you know, think outside the box. All right, let's get started. You know, Lisa, I did think about wool dryer balls. Yes, and wool socks. Yes, I was thinking all of that, but I mean, it's too big. You know, it's too big. I actually love those wool dryer balls, and I walked past them today at Walmart, but I don't know. Would I mean, would we give somebody wool dryer balls as a treat, a gift? I don't know. Probably not. I will say I Googled, and I was going to save all this to tell you next week, but I Googled um, products that come from a sheep. And lanolin is something that they put in cosmetic cosmetics and some um, creams and stuff. And it comes from the wool grease, which sounds gross, but, you know, whatever. Um, but that stuff, <laughs> if you search lanolin, it's for nursing moms. So, you know, just strictly lanolin, I mean, maybe you could give that special cream to a mom who's just had a baby and you could use this. But for Facebook Live, I don't think we're going to do that. <laughs> I don't think we're going to do that. Um, but there are some chapsticks that are made with lanolin. Um, I don't know. Anyway, just, just, you know, this is how my brain works. I lay awake at night thinking of... <laughs> What kind of treats I can make with our new stamps. I went through Walmart today. And I was trying to hurry, but I was so distracted because I hadn't been in there in a while. And there was, you know, some new things and new, like, junk food and stuff. And I was trying to, like, oh, what stamps could I use for that? And it was just taking me forever. All right. Fuzzy socks. Yeah, that would be cute. Anything with lanolin. Yeah, Chris, that's what I was thinking, too. Um, but if you, you guys, if you're watching on a computer, go over to the other tab, open Amazon and search lanolin and you'll see. <laughs> it's just really for nursing moms, I think, um, which nursing moms will need it. They will need it. I've been there three times and yeah, you need it. But for, for Facebook live, I don't know. It just feels weird. Um, okay. Moving on. We are going to color this little guy. Smoky slate and he's easy to color because we're just coloring his face. All right, light smoky slate. 
Denise, you're always the lucky one. I think Facebook knows that we're friends and it always says, Denise is watching. Denise is watching, Denise is watching, Denise is watching. Every time. It's picked you. You are the star in my comments. I don't know. This, this little weird glitch where I don't see comments. I just see a repeat over and over and over again of, of one person. This glitch has been going on for months and I don't know why the FB hasn't fixed it. Okay, so did you see what I did? I took my dark. All I did was put some dark around where the wool would overlap um, and then blended it with the uh, um, light so that it just is a little bit of a shadow. <laughs> Ruth, yeah, it's, it's a problem, right? Yeah, I know. I hate shopping with my husband because I can't think when I, you know, like, and I want to look at all the snacks and look at all the candy. And I, I literally can't think when he's with me because I, because of that, you know, you know, they're like tapping their toe, like, come on, hurry up. Um, aloe vera hand cream lotion. Yeah. Aloe vera. But is that, but is that sheep related? I don't know. It's not. I mean, really it could be anything. It could be a candy bar and put a sheep on it. Right. I mean, it doesn't have to be but I really like when I can find something that really matches. It'll probably be something random. I've got a basket full of candy bars over here that I need to use. I just did that with Fresh Freesia, okay? Because that's the color in the DSP. Um, before we bring the cut and emboss machine over, I don't know why I have two of these. We will emboss. We're gonna emboss the sentiment, basic, or not basic white, um, craft white on Misty Moonlight. And right here. And then we're gonna heat emboss it with white embossing powder. Well, let's try that again. I don't like the way that looks. Well, let's see, maybe it will. Let's see what it looks like when we put powder on it. It looks like that B did not get a, oh no, it's okay. It just looked like it stamped lighter. All right, let me pull this over here. Oh, I gotta show you guys this. If you haven't been to the Dollar Tree lately, Look at the pink clips that they have over in their little craft section. I bought them. I bought a bunch of them. They have big ones too. Sorry, that was just sitting there next to my heat tool. I have no idea what I'm going to use them for, but they're cute and they're pink. And that can take, that was just a dollar. I love it. Hi, Christine. A sheep cookie, Darcy. So I searched sheep cookies. And cookie cutters came out, right? Like a bunch of cookie cutters. And I'm not gonna, I, you know, like, man, you don't wanna see me try to decorate a sheep cookie. There was one little package of sheep cookies, but it was like a big, it was like a big package. It wasn't individual cookie. I don't know, it just wasn't right. But I was thinking sheep cookies. When I was gonna um, do that other farm set that we have, I was trying to find some farm things too. There's not really a whole lot out there as far as cookies and candies go. Um, okay, our dies. Where are our dies? Right here. So you have a die for each of your cute little sheep, and then you have some little accessories, like the balloon and the sun, the flag, the clouds. Um, and then this fence is really cute. It embosses and cuts at the same time. So let's get all that lined up. If I can get this, okay, nobody breathe. Let's make sure we get that down. It's been a busy week here. Um, my team, we're doing an online uh, convention and I they're getting 16 make and takes in their package. And that did slip a little bit, but I think it'll be okay. So I had been working on those feverishly all week and I'm happy to announce that they are packed and ready to go. It was a, it's a lot of work, but it's a fun online event. All right, now, you know, sometimes you can just drop your die and it'll pop out. If, when you're being like me and you're too lazy to get out your little brush. Not always, but sometimes. Okay, where'd the hat go? There it is. Let's glue that hat. Oh, hello. That's the whole reason I embossed it, so that I wouldn't have to bring it over twice. We're going to use the message die. We're gonna use this one right here. Right there. 
cheap socks. Yeah, Carla, I did think about socks. Um, Denise said, use the clips to hold your paper while heat embossing. That's a great idea. That is a great idea. I use those kind of clamps up here above my um, camera. I have all, all these lights that hang from my ceiling and I use the clamps to kind of clamp things together and move things around. So right now that's what they're sitting, that's why they're sitting there. But I'm gonna have a new office eventually, new studio, new craft space, whatever, and I will probably need them there. All right, so we've got a Just Jade card base. And, oh, Donna, that's a great idea. Sheep do eat apples, oats, sunflower seeds, carrots, etc. so maybe focus on what they eat. Oh, Donna, look at you, that's very smart. I like that idea. That's a really cute idea. Okay, so just jade, half a piece, scored in half, four by five and a fourth of the penguin paper. Um, I had a thought, now I can't remember what it was. It lost me. Oh, I know, the sheep also is thinking um, baby, you know, like a baby shower or maybe like a, like a baby's birthday. You could do a whole sheep theme and that would be cute. Dimensionals, where do they go? All right, I put this on a piece of Misty Moonlight for the mat. And again, the measurements are over there on the PDF, pinkbuckaroo.com. Scroll down under the last photo, there's a little box that says click here for the PDF, it's free. And I'm putting this kind of over towards the right. You have those pink clips too, Christy. You have used. I know they're just so cute. You have to buy them. I. I mean, I have no intent, no idea what I specifically use them for, but I'm gonna use them. I bought my daughter some too. <laughs> she was like, um, "Okay, like you'll need them in your dorm. I know you will." I've been buying her all kinds of things. It's so funny when they leave. You start thinking, "Oh, she, will she have Tylenol? Will she have a thermometer? Will she have um, trash bags?" <laughs> I keep buying her random stuff while she's buying like froofy pillows and decorations. Like she's not thinking about the practical stuff. Okay, so we're gonna put mini dimensionals on the four corners of this adorable little fence. And part of it's gonna hang off over here. And on that side, we're gonna put two, a stack of two dimensionals to make it even because this already has a dimensional in it or under it, so to make it the same height, we need to put two there. And I can see I've got a little paper that doesn't wanna go away, there we go. Sleeping stuff, yes, Catherine, that, that has been simmering in my mind too. Counting sheep, sleep, yes. Yes, you could give, <laughs> you could give some Tylenol PM, that would be a funny gift, right? Who, who would need Tylenol PM, like, uh, I don't know, somebody with a new new job that works overnight or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I did. I did. I have kind of a, an idea in my head about that, too. All right. Now he's going to just be jumping like, so glad it's your birthday. Yay. Now, on the inside, I didn't want to leave the inside plain. I love to do things on the inside, but I forget, honestly. I forget all the time. So I'm just going to take the little party hat and go down. You could also, you know, have the deer like half jumping off the page. And I'm just gonna color in the little dots. Oh, wrong end. I love this color combination. Just Jade, Misty Moonlight, and Fresh Freesia. And then I'm gonna do some flicking of ink. This also takes up some space so you don't have to write so much. <laughs> I never know what to write in a card, ever. All right, there we go. Now, one last thing. We're going to put some twine on Sleepy Chews in a travel pouch, Christine. That's a great idea. Where in Target? Is that like in the medicine area or is that in the travel area? That's a great idea. And it's a reason to go to Target. I love Target. Okay, there we go. Just tie it around the seam. If you put your finger right there on that knot in the middle, you can pull those and adjust your twine. 
to get it to the right um, size. And there you have it. What do you guys think? Pretty easy. Today's cards are all pretty easy. Um, simple, easy to duplicate and uh, get them done quick. All right, let's see what else we've got. Why did I why did I set my stamp back on the ink when I was done with it? That was kind of dumb. All right. It's time for the penguin. Who said more penguin? You're up. This is your this is project for you. This set, this is the first thing I played with um, when I got my new stuff. I love it. It's adorable. It's fun. It reminds me of and I've told you guys this stuff when it has little dies or images of, of things where you can, you know, like accessorize, it feels kind of like playing dollhouse where you would have all the little things and you could decorate. Um, so that's kind of what this feels like to me too, because there's so many cute little things. I mean, you have two penguins, but look, you have the antlers, you have a hat, scarf, um, tree, present. I mean, all of these things, right? So cute. The balloon, all the little, um, you know, things that you could put on them, the beaks, the two, you know, one beak is for that guy, one beak is for that guy. Anyway, this is a cute stamp set. It comes as a bundle. It's one of the bundles you could get for free in the starter, your starter kit, but it's one of the cheaper ones. So I choose something else, get something expensive. Um, <laughs> but that's just me. Um, if you buy the bundle, what is, how, how much is the bundle? $31.50. So if you buy the bundle in like one thing of adhesive, you're up to $35 over $35, you can get the make and takes for free. But of course you want to bump it up, right? So you get, if you get to $50, then you have a free celebration item. Don't, don't leave money on the table. All right. The card base is Fresh Freesia, um, cut in half and scored at five and a half. Yeah. Five and a half. This is the penguin paper, remember, but we're going to use the, I like the penguin busyness of the other sides but I prefer just geometric patterns I've always preferred that now those busy patterns have a place and I have used those busy patterns in some of my projects already but I tend to gravitate toward the geometric all right so two pieces of the designer series paper here is a rick rack in soft sea foam that I cut with a basic border dies which look like, which look like, where are they? Right here. These are them. And then you can cut that Rick Rack with just one of these and then turn it around and cut the other side. Or if you buy two sets, you can just do it like that. <laughs> That's how I do it. I have two sets. So then I put my post-it tape together, I hold them together and I run it through. And if you're cutting multiples, that post-it note tape will hold it for a while. So you can pick it up, put on the next one, run it through, pick it up, and you don't have to do both of them. That's how I, that's how I mass produce. All right, let's do our cute little penguin. We're gonna stamp him in memento. And um, when you have, when you're gonna punch, make sure, cause if I wasn't looking at the punch, I would stamp him right here on the bottom of the page. But your punch goes like this. So I wanna, for ease, I'm just gonna punch him up towards the top. Um, another thing you need to remember, and I did this the, there's a clean recording of all these projects on YouTube and you'll see that I made that mistake. I stamped the scarf right here so that then when I went to punch, I had to cut the scarf out first, otherwise I was gonna ruin it. So you've got to kind of, you know, plan out where things need to be stamped even though you are punching them out. All right, we're gonna do him right here in Memento Black. And we're gonna do his cute little beak in Calypso Coral. And the reason I'm going with Calypso Coral is because that's one of the colors in this paper pack. His nose goes way up high. When I first stamped him, I put it down low and I was like, that doesn't look right. And then I realized it should be at the end, really, of that little black line that comes down. Um, and then we're going to do a scarf. Oh, Calypso Coral, they say the reason I did that is because that's one of the colors in that designer series paper. Even though we aren't using a piece that has Calypso Coral. I'm just sticking with Calypso Coral because it coordinates really well. All right, we'll put the scarf down here, Fresh Freesia. Um, What else, what else? Okay, we've got that, let's punch that out. The scarf is gonna have to be fussy cut, but it's really simple. 
you just, it's just straight lines. Okay, cut off your excess and just stay on the outside of the line. Use your little sharp paper snips. I should put the paper snips on our supply list each week because we use them. I use them all the time and they're only $10. And I really recommend them. All right, now I'm gonna just go right in here and do like a little V cut. All right, now for his feet, there's one little foot there. So I'm gonna just punch it out again of Calypso Coral. And we're gonna get our glue. Now, these things are so little. Get your take your pick tool. And it's gonna help you pick them up. Okay, come on. Oh, whoop. I knew that was gonna happen. All right, so get your little putty end and just pick that up and set it down. I have too much glue. <laughs> I should have wiped it off, but there we go. And then, okay, don't do that to me again, combo. Come on, work with me. Put the little scarf on him like that. He's so cute. He looks like he's smiling, doesn't he? All right, now over here, I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna put this down because I'm gonna get ink on my table. Got, there's a long stamp in the stamp set um, for the snow bank or the snow hill. Wow, Carol says she's had her paper snips for 20 years. That is incredible. That is incredible. They are really good. I have several. I, have, I even have a pair in my car. <laughs> They're really good. They're good. I keep them in my console to open, you know, like packages or whatever. I just, I love them. Paper snips are on back order right now, are they? Wow, that's interesting. Um, how do you get the putty to come out? Thank you, Christine, for answering that. I didn't see that um, that question. You twist it, and I will tell you that my last couple have been really hard to twist. I've actually had to get like some grips to twist them. I don't know, I don't know why. But if you get a real good grip on it, you can twist it. See how it comes out? So uh, some seem to just twist easy and some are kind of tight in there. All right, so we did the Misty Moonlight. Um, we need to do a couple little trees and we're gonna do Just Jade. I love Just Jade. It's a really good green. All right, the sentiment is so cute. It says, be cool, be chill, be merry. That's really clever, I think. Okay, we're gonna do that in Fresh Freesia right here. And now, last but not least, we've got these cute little antlers to put our guy on our guy, our girl, whatever. And so that I know kind of where I want to put them. I'm just gonna lay, put him there and then move him out of the way and stamp. And then I will get, thanks Catherine. I will get, um, oh, I don't need that many, hello. Some dimensionals and put him right under those antlers. Isn't that cute? I don't know. It's like paint, playing paper dolls or something. It's just really cute. All right, let's put that on our card. You know, um, do I have a piece for the inside? I do not. I didn't See, sometimes I think about it and sometimes I don't to put on the inside. But you could carry the scene over on the inside on a piece of white. Just do the little hill, right, and a couple trees. Keep it simple. All right, now last but not least... One of my favorite ribbons from the annual catalog. This is the Just Jade Gingham Ribbon. It is in the Flowers for Every Season Ribbon Pack. Okay. And we will put that on with a glue dot. Okay, right there. How cute. That would be a cute baby card too. If you were having a winter baby, you could just put, you know, 
a baby, like, hello, baby. Just cute, I think. It looks like a little, little baby penguin. And the colors are soft, too. What do you guys think? So cute. I, uh, you're going to see a lot more of the penguin, I promise. I've got a lot of things planned for that. I have to pace myself so that I don't, you know, use it all in the beginning and then, and then be like, well, now what are we going to do? All right, let me clean up my mess. And we've got one more. I am moving right along today. These projects are simple. We're going to get done probably close to three, three o'clock. All right. Let's see, I gotta move this somewhere over here. You guys, my daughter got her cast off yesterday. We were so happy. She um, was not a good cast um, <laughs> patient. She did not like her cast at all. You know, you think, oh, it's gonna be cool having a cast. No, especially not in the hot Florida sun. She has a tan right here from her cast and then up here. It's so funny but she was so happy to get it off. All right, next up, we are gonna make a card. We use this stamp set also on Tuesday. And the paper, I can't get enough of this paper. No, Siri, I'm not talking to you. Weird. Um, this is one of the bundles you can also get for free in a celebration starter kit. Peaceful Deer, it's really cute. And I think I told you guys on Tuesday, when I first saw this, I was like, meh. It's, I don't know, eh, eh, you know, whatever. It wasn't, it's not cutesy enough for me. But then I started playing with it and oh my gosh, I love it. These trees are great. The deer are fun. Um, the antlers on the punch are great. The sentiments, it's just a really good bundle. And it's only, what, um, 31, 36? Yeah, 36. So if you were to just buy that, you'd earn the free make and takes. It's a great one. And by the way, you can order anything you want to get the make and takes. It doesn't have to be what I'm showing. You guys know that, right? Like you order whatever you want and uh, and um, you still get the free make and takes. I don't even really look at what you order. I just send you the make and takes as a thank you. Debbie says, I don't think anybody likes having their cast. Well, you know, when you're 12 and you're gonna get a cast for your friends, it's very exciting in the beginning. And I never had a hard cast. I did break my finger once, but my cast like Velcro and came off so I could take a shower. <laughs> but that thing is heavy and it scratches. Con it would snag her clothes. Um, it just, it, oh, it was awful, awful, awful. But three weeks and she is healed. She still can't play basketball for another three weeks, which is a bummer, but we're so glad she's out of it made um, our Florida trip quite interesting. I think I told you we, we, we found a way for her to swim. We got the press and seal. You guys know, the, not saran wrap, but the press and seal. And um, we wrapped it in that. And then we got long veterinarian gloves. You can order those on Amazon, just a clear glove that goes all the way up. And we put that on, we put rubber bands, and then we put another one on, put rubber bands, and then we put duct tape around the top. And it worked really, really well. Now, she couldn't, like, you know, go scuba diving in it, but she tried to keep it up on the top, and she did well. She did really good. So we were, we were, we were happy. Okay, I know. Chat, I'm talking. Chat, chat, chat. Let's see. Um, let's do our stamping first. We're using several new products here, but let's do the stamping first. Where's my white piece? Here we go. All right, so I, there are several deer in this stamp set and the paper that we're using is a celebration paper. And I couldn't pick a favorite if you, if you made me, I couldn't do it. I love them all a lot, but this one does have a gingham and you know how I love gingham. So this is um, one of those freebies. I like that it's traditional colors, real red, garden green, um, Sahara sand, and uh, you could use this on mass producing Christmas cards, I think. And I even said last Tuesday that this, like this could be a masculine print. I used it on a card that could have been masculine. The punch also matches this deer right here. So you can, even if you're like in a hurry, you can just punch out that deer. You don't even have to stamp. So the punch does that, but there's also the stamp that we're using. There's two deer, right? Yeah, there's two deer that the punch will punch out. This one and this one. And I know I'm gonna have to recut that because <laughs> when I was making my clean video, I put the adhesive on the wrong side. And I meant, I put it here so I would remember to cut a new piece and I did it. So we're gonna have to do that in a second. 
All right, early espresso right here. Uh oh, I didn't plan. Yep, okay, that works. And then over here, this is a um, basic white label cut with a tasteful label dies. I'm gonna do just like a, a ground line right there with early espresso. And I got ink on my table. It's all right, I just don't wanna get it on my projects. Um, then we're gonna switch over my, I'm using Old Olive. I think I said early espresso yesterday because I thought that's what I used, but that's not what I used. Old Olive. And I'm gonna stamp the trees once, right? And then stamp off so that you get like trees in the background. And then we'll get the smaller tree and we'll do the same thing once and then like that and then we just kind of do them at like layers like that okay and the sentiment um, we're gonna do in real red um yeah Angela I was just talking about that at the beginning you get a an, um, free bundle so when I'm done, go back and watch the replay here. I go through all the free bundles you can get in your starter kit during celebration. Uh, it's a really good deal. And I, I went through all of them and showed you which ones were the most expensive. Because, of course, I would say, get the most expensive one on your list for free. Um, notice how I stamp that over towards the left because we're going to put our deer here. And, and if it was centered, it wasn't quite right. All right. So we're going to punch this guy out. After you buy the starter kit, you're then a demonstrator, and you can use your ID, your demo ID, to get um, a discount on your orders, 20%. Um, and then, what else was I going to say? Oh, and then you would also earn celebration products on your demonstrator orders, along with your discount. I mean, they, you know, you get all this stuff, too. This is the Bedazzle paper, and I can almost guarantee you, I have random horns in there, antlers. Um, I can almost guarantee you this stuff's going to sell out. It is awesome. I told y'all my friend Anne-Marie called it the uh, disco ball paper, which is hilarious because that's like a perfect description. I think it looks like mermaid sequins. You know, I mean, mermaids have sequins, don't they? All right. I'm going to glue these on the back of him with some Tombow. My daughter used to have, when she was little, her room was kind of like an outdoor adventure theme. And we had a little ceramic deer head on the wall that was pink with glittered antlers. That we got it at Hobby Lobby. It was so cute. Oh, come on. And then it fell and broke. Now she's just got stupid, like, teenager -y stuff. But back then it was so cute. That's what this reminded me of. Now, antlers. What are you doing? Stop misbehaving. Where did I put my glue dots? I mean, my dimensionals right here. So even if you put glue on it, you can, I think we're going to need a smaller one. You can take your dimensional and just sandwich it in there so that it's really not going to go anywhere. Okay. And I may have put that too far back. Let's see. There we have him. So pretty. All right. Now for our card. Look, we have craft paper. I love craft. We used to carry craft paper years ago, and I still have a bunch of it. I saved it because I love it so much, and I have not used it once. <laughs> but I'm glad it's back. This time it's six by six, little pieces. And we're going to emboss it with the embossing folder. I can never remember the name. The Tasteful Textiles. Is that right? Tasteful Textiles? It's on the list. Yes, Tasteful Textiles. So let me bring over my cut and emboss machine. Um, for this embossing folder, you're going to need plate one and plate four. And get rid of those clear plates. <laughs> Debbie's stupid teenager stuff. Let me tell you. <sighs> Three teenager girls at one time. I, God had really, you know, like he thought a lot of me that I could handle that. <laughs> I'm not sure why he thought that, but oh my gosh, it's a lot. The social media drama by itself is enough. All right, early espresso card base, and we're gonna put down this craft piece right there. I love those two together. And then I've got a piece of the designer series paper, peaceful, what is it, patterns, peaceful prints, peaceful prints. And I'm gonna cut it 
I, yesterday I did corner to corner, but I think it's more like corner to halfway. Right? You see what I did there? Corner to halfway. <laughs> it, I'm not precise with that measurement. And it'll work if you do corner to corner too. Hi, Mac. All right. Put that down there. Now, let me grab that piece that I need to cut real quick. The cork looks really good with this paper, too. I have it over here. Well, I can't find it. I know I'm not out of it. What's on the back side of it? It's a stripe right here. Okay. Well, let's just see if we could do this <laughs> on my tiny cutter. Ready? One and a fourth. Look. I mean, you can make a tiny cutter do the work. It can do it, no matter the size. All right. Come on, stamp and seal. Stamp and seal is tax-free for some states this weekend. Make sure you check that list for tax-free weekend. Here's our um, disco ball paper. Now I'm going to just take my scissors, or you can use your trimmer. Just cut those off. All right to hit the edge and then let's get our disco deer with the disco antlers still going through stupid things but that's how they learn I know Debbie it's so hard right they they see they look like adults they act like adults sometimes but they're not do stupid stuff there we go dimensionals and no I didn't I didn't use any um embellishments I don't think with that glitter uh bedazzle paper it needs any embellishments now I have told you guys that I have made a lot of things with this paper this was something I made um kind of cased something in the catalog and then this is what my team will be making at our team meeting on Monday these cute cards and I know I have one more and I don't know where it went, but this paper is amazing. Look, I didn't think I would like this paper, but look how cute that is together with a black. Isn't that cute? Just the trees, no deer. Put it on your list. I'm telling you, you're gonna, you're gonna regret it if you don't. All right, look, it's only like 3.02, you guys. I got done early. See what happens when I have simple projects? Oh, hold on, rewind, go back. We forgot to do the inside. Look how cute the inside is. Oh, this card is different. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This one, oh, that's the other one. Okay, hold on, hold on. We've got several options. Where did my original go? Where did it go? Well, whatever, I'm gonna show you what I did. I, all you gotta do to carry on this design on the inside, oh, here it is, is get your trees. And just do that same, you know, like that double stamping kind of deal where you stamp and then you stamp again without re-inking. And then we'll get the little one. And then you have a less space that you have to write. <laughs> I know, I'm a little bit lazy. I don't like writing in cards. There you go. And then we'll put that on the inside. That's just a four by five and a fourth inch piece of basic white. And then on this one... Look, I punched out one of the deer. Did I punch it or did I cut it? That's that's fussy cut. That's the one going the other way. Um, and put him there. So I challenge you guys to start decorating the inside of your cards. I'm trying to do that more. Okay, we have reached the end. And there's something I need to tell you if you've gotten the PDF. My BOGO, online BOGO sale is coming up. Um, I don't know when. I'm trying to get it either the end of August or the beginning of September. I'm hoping that it'll be the last week of August. Um, that is where I list all my retired products for free with an equal online order. It's coming. Just know that I have to... The thing when I do an online BOGO sale, first, there's a lot of work on the front end, a lot of um, pricing, and then I got to photograph everything and upload it to albums. So then once I get to that point... I list it and it takes me about 
three or four 12 to 13 hour days to fill, pick and fill all those orders. So I have to make sure I have a chunk of time that I can do that where I'm not going to be distracted. And I was thinking our first week of school would be a good time to do that. Um, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to commit to a date. You'll know at least a week out. Okay. Um, but just know that the BOGO sale is coming. All right, make sure you go over to pinkbuckaroo.com, get that free PDF. The clean recordings are listed under each project. Next week, I think we will do the sheep. I'm sorry, whoever it was who said, no, don't do the sheep, do the penguins. The penguins will come maybe the following week. It feels weird to do penguins and Christmas stuff in August. I don't like it, but it is what it is. Um, you guys remember, if you want these three make and takes for free, make sure your order is in by Monday at midnight. Um, use that host code unless your, um, unless your order is over $150, then don't use the host code because you'll get free stamp and rewards and I'll still send you these for free. Um, starter kit purchases do not qualify for this because, uh, Stampin' Up! Policy says that we cannot add anything onto a starter kit offer. I can't say, if you buy the starter kit, I'll also send you this. That's against policy. So I can't do that, all right? So if you want these, it has to be an actual online order, all right? Okay, you guys, have a wonderful weekend. I'll be back next Friday. And uh, let me know if you have questions. And if you sent me an email and I didn't respond, please email me again. Fingers crossed that it will go through. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Talk to you next week. Bye-bye.